It's been a crisis for a long time. New statistics have revealed that on average seven Canadians die due to an opioid-related death every single day in our country. Now, there are some more troubling statistics, though Mayor John Tory admitting today that officials haven't realized just how big of an issue this actually is and simply it has gone, fallen along the wayside for far, far too long. Well, today the province announcing and stepping up with some funding which could potentially save thousands of lives. When you have something that is taking hundreds of lives in this province, think about it in the context of any other thing we might talk about. And it's a tragedy that's impacting families in every community in Ontario, and it crosses all demographics. Opiates claimed the lives of at least 412 people in Ontario in just the first six months in 2016. Today, Health Minister Eric Hoskins announced $15 million, which will go towards hiring new staff at every public health unit in the province. The funding will also pay for 80,000 additional kits every year of the overdose reversing drug, naloxone. This new program will ensure that every person who is at risk, hopefully every person who is at risk of an opioid overdose has access to naloxone. Welcome. Uh, Though some may argue the province is just putting a band-aid on a growing deadly crisis, the highly potent opioid fentanyl is being found in more and more illegal drugs. Police in Durham region reported eight fentanyl-related overdoses over the weekend. In Oshawa, three young men between 18 and 20 years of age were using cocaine Saturday morning. All three collapsed. Officials believe the coke was in part cut with fentanyl. What typically would be a, an interesting evening out with friends for young people can turn into a nightmare, not only for them, but for their family and everybody that knows them. And, you know, if, we'd spend, uh, if we're going to spend some money on, on, on a temporary cure, and, and, and that's what we're doing, how about spending some money on a real public education campaign to get the message out how bad this stuff is? What is being done to take opioids and specifically fentanyl off the streets, out of the system? So we're working with Health Quality Ontario, for example, on um, uh, standards for prescribing by physicians and then shortly nurse practitioners also have the ability to prescri prescribe narcotics. So this is the naloxone kit. This is the intranasal naloxone kit. So we've just started giving these out recently. Sean Hopkins is a manager at the Works, a downtown needle exchange program. She works on the front lines of the opioid epidemic. Her reports from the streets confirm what we have feared for months. Illegal drugs laced with fentanyl are on the rise. And it can have fatal consequences for everyone from the attic to the recreational weekend party goer. It can stop your heart, your breathing, and your system start to shut down. I think we don't know what's in the drug supply. We never will know what's in the drug supply. The 80,000 additional units of naloxone will be distributed at public health centers like this one right here at Young and Dundas Square.